Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for sticking around. We do very fortunately have an interview with the top laner of FM Esports, Tundra. Hello, Tundra. Welcome to uh, the chat. Hello. Nice to be here. <laughs> oh, thank you. So we definitely had a very exciting best of three series. How did FM originally feel coming into this series? Um, we still kind of felt like we were favorites going into it but we knew it was going to be definitely a lot harder than the Epic Clan finals because Infuse have improved a lot and have been trying like really, really hard with their practice and stepped up the game a lot. As you can see today, the games are a lot closer than the Epic finals. And I think it could have easily gone either way, to be honest. Yeah, I definitely agree. There were some close games and uh, uh, for the first one, it definitely didn't look uh, great for you. How do you guys keep your composure when you, when you fall behind in the early, but then manage to come back in the late? Well, game one is a good example of kind of like stylistic differences between the two teams where you can see Infuse like to run this kind of early game, mid game spiking, like four skirmishes around the map, really scrappy gameplay. Whereas we rather just play like standard lane swap, just scale and like work our way into the mid late game and then go for a team fight composition. So as you saw in that first game, they kind of snowballed well early on, got ahead of us, but then it kind of got to the point where their comp couldn't actually end the game against us and they got impatient uh the bottom inhib if i remember correctly we got a really good fight with like nah oriana or victor whatever it was wombo combo and then from there we just turned the game because we got into the team fight phase where we were a much stronger composition and we were able to close the game out yeah i would definitely i can definitely understand your viewpoint on that but coming into the second game i'm a little bit interested because you talk about how you do prefer these scaling team comps and that is something that myself Anna Siglas talked about so can you walk me through why you decided to go for the ergot pick in the second game sure so it's a comp we really like to run at the moment this kind of like four tanks and sort of like this consistent damage mid to go with it or like a lot of shields like i think we have the shen oriana ergot combination so just like really, really tanky team, but with consistent team fight damage. The issue kind of came from, we got caught out too much. Like, I feel like that game was in the bag near enough. Like we had a good leads, we got out of any phase well, but we just started to fall behind with turrets. And that was a big key point for us in winning the game because our team just is really, really bad at taking turrets. And considering we lost all three of our outer towers before even taking one of theirs, we just got super, super far behind and we weren't able to get this tower pressure back because of our comp just doesn't allow for it. And then it meant we had to overextend to try and get these towers. Then we just getting, kept getting picked and Infuse played it out really well and just outplayed us that game completely. I see. That's really interesting to hear, actually, because Siglitz and I were discussing that perhaps that you were lacking a bit of damage, but I can understand your idea behind the composition. And it does make sense having you explain how you fell behind so hard during that second game. But we definitely saw in that third and final game, you had that very scaling centric composition. And when you went into it, did you feel that that was your plan? You were just going to play the passive early game and rely on your mid to late game mechanics? Mm -hmm. So... In every two, uh, the 1v1 top lane is naturally in favor of Nah. It just like wins our pressure and requires like jungle help from the Maokai side to stay in the game. So we knew that they would have to put so much jungle pressure on top to keep the Maokai in the game, otherwise you'd fall behind, that we could then put our jungle pressure somewhere else on the map. Whether it be getting the Vladimir ahead and putting the Ari behind, which is what ended up happening, or just keeping bot safe and letting Ezreal scale up. But as you saw with that kind of composition in our play style, it really showcased how we like to play in that mid tier three push where we caught them out of position, ended up just getting the tier three mid and then a huge wombo near enough, like <laughs> just one shotting their entire team, almost ending the game at like 23 minutes. I think it was, that's like exactly how we want to play. Just playing the strategical map rotation, looking for this big team fight where we just feel like we can team fight a lot better than other teams because we have really good synergy and coordination. And then after that, it kind of just got a little bit scrappy and people <laughs> it's a tendency we have as a team where when one person gets really fed they like to try and 1v4 or 1v5 just to show off uh toaster does it on Vayne, and then this game zivic did it on vlad so we kind of delayed our game for like 20 minutes and the nash deal so it just kind of took a lot longer than it should have we probably <laughs> could have ended at like 23 25 minutes or so but either way it worked out in the end yeah, I definitely agree with that. I, I felt, uh, as we were commentating the game, we did feel as though there were a f quite a few mistakes on both sides of the uh, of the game. But uh, nevertheless, you did in fact manage to close it out. So you are going to be taking five BYOC tickets home for FM Esports. Uh, I assume this is the lineup that you do plan on taking to Insomnia 55. How are you feeling going towards that tournament? Um... 
pretty confident going into it. Although no team has ever won back to back I series in the last like three years. So hopefully we'll be able to break that curse. But I think we have a lot of LAN experience with the team now. And we're one of the few teams that are actually going to remain the same from a LAN to two UK lands in a, in a row, which is a pretty rare thing in the UK scene. We're hoping to stick together for as long as we can and hoping to keep this lo roster together for the Challenger Series next season. So this is more of a long-term project for us, I guess you could say, rather than just focusing on the next LAN. This is more of a going for Challenger Series, I guess, in a few months down the line. I see. Yeah, you definitely, I believe you were somewhere around 700 LP last time climbing through the Challenger series. And for a little while, you were actually rank one on the Challenger 5's ladder. So that must have been a very nice feeling. But nevertheless, very impressive performance coming from you guys. And uh, is there anything that you would like to say to any of your fans or any, uh, you know, any shout outs that you'd like to make? Well, if we had fans, I'd shout them out, but I don't think we do. <laughs> but to FM, thank you to our sponsors, Razor, Sapphire, and MND, uh, AMD, sorry. And thanks for them supporting us for so long. Looking forward to I-55. Thanks for multiplay for up this tournament. It's really nice to actually get some more UK tournaments on the go, as there's been quite a big break from Epic. And just really well played to Infuse and Choke, to be honest. It's really, really close up at the top of the UK scene now. And I'm really looking forward to hopefully everyone just growing a bit more. And maybe in the future, we can get to a more of a European level rather than a UK one. Well, that would be very nice indeed. Well, thank you very much uh, for your time, Tundra, and congratulations again on your victory. That is the end of this tournament. We will be seen again in the future around the end of August for the Challenger Cup Series at Insomnia, where you will be able to meet the legend himself and perhaps you'll be able to you'll be able to see his fantastic Aurelia play which is something I always get excited about nevertheless if you do want any more information do check out all the links in the chat for multiplayer and thank you again very much to Razor make sure you follow them on Twitter and Facebook so that's it from us I've been Vedius I was joined by a Sigilus this evening and I would like to thank again the multiplayer staff for running this tournament and hosting everything I hope you all have a wonderful night and uh, thank you once again for watching